Hey guys, how's it going? My hair looks different because I'm growing out my bangs and also I got a haircut last night. So I just wanted to clear that up. Um, if you didn't watch the part one of this episode i guess it'll be um in the card thingy whichever direction that is in and also i'm um, in the description probably in the related videos thanks for clicking on this video i hope you enjoy it so wednesday i drove with casey to san jose and i made some oatmeal for the road and it's in a jar and there's some bananas and chia seeds in the jar and i put my almond milk in it also in the jar it's wait not all not oatmeal not oatmeal. I lied to you just now. It was actually granola and I forgot. So that pumpkin flax granola, I just put it in the jar with some almond milk and some cut up banana. Yeah, so then it kind of turned into oatmeal after it's, you know, granola in milk for an extended period of time just turns into oatmeal. Wow. This is what happens when you do voiceover for a video that you filmed, I don't know, approximately, approximately a month ago. I don't really know. I can't tell you. But yeah, that was my quick little breakfast because we left like in the morning morning, you know? Oh, we leave it in the morning morning. So I wasn't really like that hungry yet, but I knew I had to make something because after like two hours on the road, I was going to be, you know, mad. British mad or American mad? Maybe a combination of both, you know? <laughs> so, um, we also got Starbucks. I got some Starbucks. This is a coffee frap with toffee syrup and some sort of milk. Casey and I shared this drink. Reusable cup. Reusable Starbucks cup. Wow. Save the turtles. <laughs> Hashtag save the turtles. And I also brought these hip peas, baby. No, I didn't bring them. I bought them. I bought them at Starbucks. That's another thing. I was just like hungry and desperate. So I just bought those at Starbucks. But I know I made that vow to myself that I would like make whatever like processed stuff I bought in the last video in the next video. But I tried to Google a recipe for this type of thing and I could not find anything. So if you guys have found anything, let me know. So we also stopped at a vegetarian Chinese restaurant for lunch on the way. I don't want to say what it was called since I say some negative things about their food but i think it was mostly just that we didn't like the specific things that we ordered because most of the other reviews on yelp were really positive and i don't want to be mean um so anyway moving on we got this corn chowder right and i don't know what we were thinking because we were thinking of like actual chowder like a clam chowder but like a corn chowder but like a corn you know corn chowder anyways we got this corn chowder and it wasn't good i'm not gonna lie to you guys it was not good and then we got these little drumsticks things those were so good like delicious but they gave us so much sauce oh my god can you imagine if we actually used all that sauce dude and then we got this crunchy noodle dish which we both kind of thought was going to be like a what's it called pan fried noodle kind of thing but it was really just like it i don't know 100 percent crunch you know like no soft just crunch with a sauce on it and then when the sauce was on it it just kind of got soggy hit and miss today at this place i'm sure other things on their menu were good but we just ordered the wrong things then later we went to wow i really wish i could remember what these places were called boba boba bar boba bar we went to boba bar i didn't even get to looking it up yet i just actually used my brain and remembered it wow we actually used our reusable boba cups which was very exciting for me i've used them at two different like boba places this was the first one and then the second time i used it after this video was at a boba pop-up at a farmer's market in town if you're gonna get one one of these reusable things it's nice if you can get one that has the ounces on it because i think that helps like baristas and like boba people um they should be called bobaristas <laughs> After that, we walked to a vegetarian house, which is so good, so dang good. I've been here in a video from like a couple years back, like a Halloween what I eat in a week. So this place is so good. It's part of that like Loving Hut chain with the like cult leader and whatnot. Um, we don't stand because uh. I'm scared, but also we stand cause food good. You know what I'm saying? So vegetarian house and a lot of the places under this, uh, what's it called? Everything that I've had from these kind of restaurants is so good. I don't understand that cult be doing it good. Okay. So, um, got some fried rolls, like egg rolls, but obviously there's no egg in it cause it's a vegan restaurant. We got chow fun and chow main, both so delicious. Oh my God. So delish. They make the best fake meats that I've ever had in a restaurant before. Beautiful. And they also sell 
sell some like candies and like chocolates and stuff uh, in your entrance and exit. So we bought a couple chocolate bars. They were honestly okay. I'd had those before and for some reason I remember them being better than they were this time. So homemade vegan caramel. I put this in here because I ate a caramel bar and I was like, I should learn how to make a uh, vegan chocolate bars DIY because I'm sure they would be better and also better for you and also a lot cheaper. And also they come with a sense of, of empowerment as you eat them, you know? You don't feel empowered when you eat a chocolate bar that you bought from the store, you know? But if you make your own chocolate bar, that's where it's at. So we were just staying for one night and then the next morning we went to Whole Foods for breakfast. Um, although it was a late breakfast because we got started late, woke up late, got started late, left late, you know how it'd be. So we went to Whole Foods and we were kind of just getting like a, like a brunch, I guess. So I wandered around this goddamn Whole Foods for so long with my dumb reusable cup in my hand because I really just wanted to get like a smoothie or like a coffee blended drink or something. I wanted more footage of me using my cup, you know? So yeah, I wandered around for so long. I could not find like where you, you know, the place in Whole Foods where you can get smoothies and stuff. The, the smoothie bar or whatever they call it and it's like a, in a separate building outside of the whole foods i don't why i don't know why i mean it was it was kind of cool honestly it was kind of cool that there was like separate buildings for things but um i didn't know that we got this um what is it called ttla sandwich from oh the hot case that's what that's called all right so it was let's see tempeh tomato lettuce avocado sandwich and i never thought i would say this before but there was too much avocado on the sandwich i had to scrape some off i didn't love it but it was decent and it was a good amount of food i was pretty full after that we also got these lime chips and a hummus and more plastic I know like we just wanted some other like snack to get that was like somewhat healthy kind of you know and also easy to eat like in the car but we didn't know really what to get there that wasn't going to be that wasn't going to involve plastic and also we kind of wanted to just hurry and get out of there because I had <laughs> wandered around for so long already to look for the bathroom and the smoothie bar and then I got this coffee drink from um the place and it was an espresso mocha drink with almond milk and it was so so freaking good delicious i don't even know why it was so delicious but it just was <laughs> took home leftovers from vegetarian house shout out to vegetarian house they use paper to go containers rather than styrofoam or plastic which was cool so as a snack a little later on i had an apple with some peanut butter and then for dinner i made the same rice and beans bowl plate thing that i did a couple days before um just with the leftover rice and beans and leftover avocado and more salsa etc <laughs> So Friday morning, I made another green smoothie and it's basically the same thing as before, I think, with the spinach and I used the other half of that orange and I used another mango, some lime juice, ginger, and orangeade. Um, I would have used orange juice, but we didn't have any. We just had this orangeade, so. Oh no, I think we did have orange juice, but I was trying not to use it because it was in plastic and this was in glass. So I was like, I'm gonna use this. Who cares if it's soda? I don't. Dude, these were the best green smoothies I've ever made, which isn't saying a lot because I've never, I haven't made that many green smoothies smoothies other than like using greens powder and stuff but I feel like that's different I don't know but I would really recommend like this as like a recipe for like an easy green smoothie that will still like taste good you know good smoothie delicious would recommend and then for some more like protein source I had some almond milk and some of that pumpkin flax granola and then later on I made some chickpea salad I attempted to make a special version and a more protein slash easier to eat on its own 
version of it. Okay, each batch you use a can of chickpeas, right? But I made a double batch where instead of using two cans of chickpeas, I use one can of chickpeas and one box of chickpea pasta. So then it would be more of like a pasta salad instead of just like something to put inside of a sandwich. However, it's not as good. It just tastes better with just chickpeas. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to the sandwich thing, but I just ate them with these crackers because we have all these like flax seed crackers that I wanted to get rid of because they're getting stale. Then I had some kombucha that I made myself. So I'll upload a kombucha video eventually, but this is just like kind of a sneak peek of like what it looks like me making kombucha. I never use butter, I only use oil. It's a Friday night and I'm making spaghetti for myself. I'm gonna use as much butter as I want. I am making pasta sauce. I love making pasta sauce. Pasta sauce is such a fun, rewarding, empowering, a learning experience, a cultural experience, a tasty experience. Okay, onions, garlic, tomato sauce, tomatoes, pepper, salt, oregano, basil, Italian mixed spice from Costco, coconut cream, broccoli, nutritional yeast, whole wheat pasta from Thrive Market, and some spinach. So yeah, and then I put some hemp seeds on it afterward for just like some extra protein. So I realized while editing this that since it was probably only like one tablespoon of hemp seeds, it was probably only like four grams of protein. But then I realized that the serving of pasta that I had had like 14 grams of protein. So I felt bad. Then I felt better. And I had some of this haagen non-dairy ice cream, peanut butter chocolate fudge. Um, you guys remember that Reese's commercial from back in the day? One, two, three. So then Saturday morning, my mom made some pancakes and they were Bisquick pancakes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come clean right now, but I didn't make them. You see, my mom was just like, Hey Emily, I'm making pancakes. And I was like, okay. So I just wanted to come clean right now that and say that. Okay. So anyways, moving on with my zero waste video. My family and Casey's family went out to see the movie yesterday, that Beatles movie, and you know, I, my, my, it really made my mom happy and she really liked it, so I can't say anything bad about it, um, so we're just gonna leave it at that. So we went to this Mexican restaurant afterward and I got a watermelon margarita um, and I didn't think that it would come with a straw and it did, so you can put a big failed on this video because I've got a freaking straw. I'm sorry to every turtle. If I could apologize personally to each and every turtle in the ocean, I would, okay? But I can't. I made a mistake and I'm sorry, okay? And I won't do it again, except I will because I'm stupid. So yeah, I had a burrito, vegetarian burrito, no cheese, no sour creme, and was quite good. Could have been better, honestly. Inside of it was just like peppers and stuff. And then the beans and rice was like all outside. I don't know why they do that, but um, but it looked beautiful. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you want. Buy some stickers or a shirt if you want from the Redbubble linked down below. And yeah, I hope you're having a great summer. Um, I hope you're really excited to go back to school this month. So fun. Um, so exciting. And yeah, bye.